Okay, so now let's proceed with making our wall section. And I'm in my building section view right now. Right? So I'm able to see the entire thing. I believe all of you have created one of those. Um, if not, you go to your floor plan. And um, up at the top of the screen, you've got a section tool. Click on that to select it. And then click there, and then click there. Uh, click Escape a couple of times to get out of that command and then you can double click on the head of it to open it. Um, notice that my detail components that were in my other section view are not in this one. So I'm going to close that and go back to the view that um, you guys have been working in, which is this one. So there are different ways of making a wall section. Uh, I'm going to show you one of them and I just want you to be aware that there are others. So I'm going to uh, use a callout view to do this. So up at the top uh, you want to find the view tab on your ribbon. So click on the View tab. And then there is a tool there called Callout. And so I'm going to click on the Callout tool. And now I've got to click twice to create the, the Callout. Once at the upper left hand corner, and notice it starts making a box for me. And then once at the lower right hand corner of my wall. And I'm including some area around the wall so that um, you can see what's going on. I don't want to just show a 2x6 and a little bit of concrete. I want to show enough that you can see it in context. So if over in your project browser, notice that now I have in my wall in my sections, I have a uh, callout one of section one. So I'm going to open that view. Before I do that, notice down here at the bottom, my view is set to 3 eighths of an inch equals a foot. So when I double click the callout, it's going to double in scale. And so now I'm at 3 quarters of an inch equals a foot and my poche looks different, right? So uh, what used to be big and clunky is now more fine and uh, thinner lines. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and toggle the thin lines on so that I get rid of the fat lines so that I can see exactly where everything is. So uh, now I'm going to just load this guy up with some detail components and uh, click, 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 there you go. Uh, you may have to back up and, and do this one a couple of times, but um, let's let's see what we can get done.